There's a second part yep. of this oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that uh, Thank you. you have, uh, Aaron, can you? I'm sorry, go ahead. We have, a, we have a proposal for you that uh, will address, I believe, the concerns that uh, Commissioner Marshall has addressed. As you all are aware, uh, we have not uh, adjusted our premium since uh, 2000 and 2008, and if you dated back to 2005, they're only within a dollar of each other. And what we have tried to do, as I indicated to y'all in a, an email uh, last week, is try to be reflective of the economic uh, changes that uh, we all have faced, as well as being sensitive to the claims and the numbers that y'all have uh, heard this morning. So. Uh, we last year at your direction began a wellness program that tried to encourage our employees to participate in uh, being active uh, from an individual standpoint with their own health care, their own well-being, and trying to improve their overall consciousness of how they can impact these claims. Uh, and we have put together a a benefit uh, recommendation to you that um, we will be presenting to you the actual numbers. I believe you have those um, in front of you now. Those will be submitted to you for action tomorrow night. Um, and you will note that we will be making a difference in the those individuals that participated in the wellness program uh, will be uh, receiving a discount on their premium as we indicated to y'all a year ago when we began this and uh, we tr are trying to make those proposed rates to be reflective of those increase in premium in uh, increase in claims but also sensitive to the market as well as to our uh, economic situation so Kevin did you have some more information on that no sir all of this will be mm. presented to you in one item tomorrow evening. Just, just, um, just for uh, clarification, um, uh, what the county manager is referring to is those who participated in the wellness program, um, you know, will see the benefit, and those who did not would see, uh, you know, a possible increase. Basically. Well, all, all of, all of the, you know, whatever adjustment is made, it will rise if an individual actually participated and met all the requirements they'll get a rebate or reduction away from that standard premium that's established. Kevin, could you mention briefly what the wellness program consisted of? How many opportunities uh, employees had that they could uh, participate I, in? Actually, we've been very busy in, in the past year. We've run many challenges, many healthy breaks. Healthy <clears throat> breaks are uh, educational opportunities that are done somewhere in between 11 and 1. We've actually brought these opportunities to the Sheriff's Department brought them down to public works department as well we have many challenges maybe maybe the consumption of more water uh, stuff like that uh, watching uh, some of the other things that you eat exercising as well as some of our larger challenges that we had earlier in the year that we had the individuals here who had uh, had the weight loss challenge but we, we've had over 60 opportunities that have been presented in this past year for individuals to uh, meet their requirements. All they had to do was participate in two of those particular activities I talked about, besides completing a health risk assessment online, uh, biometric screening, they met with a coach in order for them to learn a little bit more about what their risk numbers are, whether they fall in a low, medium, or high risk category based on their health risk assessment and their biometric screening in and of itself. So uh, you, you combine all those as well as a, a pharmacy requirement to understand the, the use of a pharmacist and what they can actually provide for you on a regular basis and what they're really doing for you. Uh, uh, you combine all of those particular activities together and that made up the first year of our, uh, of our program. Also, when we uh, presented this program, um, staff, met with, I believe, every department and every office uh, explaining the benefits proposed by the wellness program and also making it clear that the commission would be forced to look from an economic standpoint at the realistic increase in premiums. So they were 
made all the employees were made well aware that uh, we were looking at a at a increase we did not know how much but we felt that there would be an increase and that those that uh, participated in the wellness program would be given a reduction or a an additional benefit or a uh, cost savings and regarding the wellness program it's it's an investment in not just people but it's an investment in the amount of money we have to spend on on claims there's no question that if you positively affect metabolic syndrome obesity hypertension hyperlipidemia that that you see a reduction in claims related to those illnesses uh, cardiovascular disease diabetes all the issues that relate to, to diabetes but um so i just judging the merits of a wellness program on one year obviously we've seen some positive benefits but a wellness program is something that that we'll need to monitor and see positive benefits from for years to come it's it's a long-term investment in in our people and their health but it's also an investment um, in how much we're spending on our insurance program. What uh, do you have a percentage of our uh, employees that participated in the wellness program? Uh, when it when it came down to it at the very end, as we totaled up the numbers, we had uh, 166 finish all of the requirements. So 166 individuals participated in it to begin with. There was probably around 327 that started off. So that's. 25 percent 35 percent somewhere in that vicinity okay on the on the premium the premiums that we're looking at do you see any industry uh, you see <laughs> I'm trying to think how to phrase this are you seeing anything in the industry where premiums are based on uh, certain habits of individuals um, smoking overweight uh, don't meet BMIs and things like that. Are you seeing premiums adjusted for individual? You know, when you get a discount for wellness, are you also? Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. Can you can you come up? I'm sorry. Um, yeah. So so we're seeing as we you know go through and work with our clients, we're seeing uh, a lot of clients. You know, add surcharges, um, tobacco surcharge for That's one. Um, some are even as adding a spousal surcharge. You know, if their spouse is employed and has you know coverage uh, available to them, they're they're doing that as well. So yeah, there's a lot of um, you know look at that as well as you know starting to monitor outcomes. And like you indicated, this is a long-term investment. Your wellness program. So, you know, over time you can start looking for people to start seeing a difference in their BMI and lowering their blood pressure. So I think companies are also going toward rewarding that, you know, there are specific outcomes based on whatever the biometrics are at the beginning of the year. Well, I mean, I definitely agree in, in rewarding wellness, but I also think it's beneficial to look at, you know, surcharges for those that are not willing to, to uh, step up, you know, and take care of their own self. Mr. Uh, Chairman, I have a question. Um, what is there any paramed done on this because uh, usually most a lot of group plans you don't have a paramedical done when the person applies so how do you know who a smoker is and not and a non-smoker or what their their health is like you do with life insurance you do a paramed so well i um i, I think there there's two two trains of thought there's some um lot some employers are doing you know affidavits asking you know, the employee to sign the affidavit indicating, you know, are you a smoker or right. not, um, with some very strong language that, you know, indicates, um, you know, they could easily be removed from their insurance if they found out that they were not telling the truth. And then some are moving toward truly doing the nicotine testing, the cotinine mm -hmm. testing, as part of the biometric screenings where actually they do test for nicotine in the system. So it's progressed again over the years as people move from, you know, the the, um, the affidavit to, you know, what I think there's more people smoking than than we really realize, um, right. and so they're they're moving to the actually including that. And I've, I've got a second question, and it may be for Mr. Beals. Is it how much comes out of an employee's paycheck each time to cover their part? What what are we paying for as a county, and what is the uh, 
employer's contribution. The, the premium that I believe you see before you is basically what comes out on a two-week basis of the employee to cover their, their portion or their particular contribution at the current time. So currently for a single person it's $28.90 uh -huh. bi-weekly. Bi-weekly. Okay. Any other questions, Commissioner? Thank you. It's a complex issue. Appreciate all your work. Thank you. All right, Commissioners, moving on to 